Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test MPN MOSFET and PMP MOSFET using the multimeter. So, the MOSFET basically contains just one diode inside it, not like the transistor. As you can see here, we have here the MPN channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET in the right, as you can see. Here we have the diode between source and drain. When this diode is toward the source, means P channel MOSFET. So basically, to test the P channel MOSFET, you should put the red probe of the multimeter in the drain and the black probe in the source, and you should get a reading. And if you swap the probes, you will not get anything. And for N channel MOSFET, when you put the black probe in the drain and the red probe in the source, you will get a reading about 700 drop voltage. And when you swap the probes, you will get nothing in the multimeter. So now we're gonna check real MOSFETs in real motherboard. Okay, as you can see here, we have two MOSFETs, this big MOSFETs that we're gonna test using, of course, the multimeter. Always you should choose the diode option in the multimeter. So here, as you can see, we have three terminals, gate, drain, and source. Here, as you can see, these two terminals are connected together. If we check these two pins, we get zero, about zero ohm in the multimeter. Means there is connection, okay? So let's check between source and drain. As you can see, we get a reading, as you can see, about 500 voltage. So means this is N channel MOSFET, okay? So if we swap the probes, as you can see, nothing in the multimeter. We get one. Okay, so when you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain and you get a reading, means the MOSFET is N channel MOSFET. Okay, so let's check the second MOSFET as you can see using the same working process, but here these two terminals for drain are connected together as you can see. Okay, so let's check using the same working principle. Let's put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. We get about 0 0.95. Basically, this is not a good measurement. Okay, let's check again. As you can see, we get about 0 0.95. This is basically a bad MOSFET. So let's check these two MOSFETs. As you can see, using the same working principle, always you should locate the drain, the source, and the gate so let's put the red probe in the source and the black the black probe in the drain we get a reading also this is n channel mosfet so if we swap the probes means the black probe in the source and the red probe in the drain nothing in the multimeter means basically this is n channel mosfet so let's check the second one the same also n channel mosfet okay so if we swap the probes nothing in the multimeter okay so this is n channel mosfet these two mosfets are good mosfets so let's check other mosfets <coughs> in order to go deeper into understanding how to check n channel and p channel mosfet always you should locate drain and source and gate so here we didn't get anything in the multimeter so now we're gonna put the red probe of the multimeter in the source and the black probe in the drain. We get about 500 voltage, means also this is N channel MOSFET. Okay, always for the N channel MOSFET, we get a reading when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. But for the P channel MOSFET, the inverse. So let's check the second. MOSFET here we get a reading so this is P channel MOSFET because we put as you can see the black probe in the source and the red probe in the drain we get a reading means this is P channel MOSFET if we swap two probes we should not get anything in the multimeter as you can see okay so this is how we can test the N channel MOSFET and the P channel MOSFET so to summarize, the MOSFET contains just one diode inside it, 
it's not like the transistor. The transistor contains two diodes, one diode between, between base and connector and the other one between base and emitter. But for the MOSFET, it contains just one diode between source and drain. So, how to differentiate between P-channel MOSFET and N-channel MOSFET in terms of measurement? First, you should put the multimeter to the diode option okay to the diode option and then when you put the red probe of the multimeter in the source and the black probe in the drain and you get a reading a drop voltage about 500 600 or 700 or sometimes 200 means that mosfet is n channel mosfet okay and of course, when you swap the probes, you will not get anything in the multimeter. And for the P-channel MOSFET, the same working principle, but the inverse. When you put the red probe, this time it's not in the source, no, in the drain. When you put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source and you get a reading, means that MOSFET is P-channel MOSFET. Always the reading can vary in accordance with the type of the MOSFET. It can be 200 drop voltage, 500, 600, 700, or maybe 800 drop voltage, okay? So this is how we can differentiate between P-channel MOSFET and N-channel MOSFET. And of course, for the transistor, the same working principle, but there is a slight difference. So for the transistor, a PNP transistor is when you put the black probe in the base and the red probe in the emitter, you get a reading. And when you move the red probe to the collector, you get also a reading. Means that transistor is PNP transistor. But if you put the red probe in the base and you move the black probe of the multimeter once in collector and once in emitter and you get a ready means that transistor is npn transistor and of course how you can know if a mosfet is failed or even a transistor when you get a buzzer when you got a buzzer or you get a very low resistance in the multimeter about zero ohm means the MOSFET or transistor is shorted. You should replace it, of course, with another MOSFET with the same reference.